Hi Pisces, welcome to your week ahead tarot scope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. Uh, quick note about my tarot readings, they are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're sun, moon or rising sign Pisces, this is for you. I always advise that you watch all three so that you get a clearer picture of how they speak to you and how I as a tarot reader resonate with you. Uh, so with that said, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So um, as you are probably more than aware of, the monthlies are very late this month. Um, so I uh, am going to have to pull a random card for your key to the week. And your key to the week card is the full card. New things, places, people and energy. But this week, Pisces, you are being urged to take a detour. This is about you going off in a very different direction. This week, you have to, you got to break out of the box, right? You've got to do something this week that you've never done before. You have to take a calculated risk and you have to take a leap of faith. This is about you doing something that you have never done before. I cannot stress that enough. You are being asked to open yourself up and trust the universe, but more importantly, trust your own skills and ability, all right? This is a week where you gotta go for it. You gotta be ready to take that leap. In some way, shape or form, I think this week you are going to disrupt the energy of your life path. And I really, really like this for you, all right? So we're not talking about getting reckless here. We're not talking about, I don't know, going and betting, you know, the, the house and the car on the roulette table. Come on, baby, mama needs some new Louboutins. It's not about that, right? It's not about being crazy. It's about taking a calculated risk and saying to yourself, if I do this, it's very likely to pay off. It's gonna really set my path in a different, uh, you know, on a different, on a different path, or, uh, it's about you breaking out of something that has really just reached a point of stagnancy for yourself. So let's check out your different sectors of the week for your actions and options this week. You get the Eight of Swords. You gotta break out of the box this week, right? You you just, there's, I mean, and it's funny because this card came up for three different signs, three different decks <clears throat> in this position. Right, and what I said to all of them is something that you realize you are in, you're gonna to need to be in for the long haul. Whereas for you, this is a very different energy because that full card is basically saying whatever prison you are in in the mind, whatever uh, rut you are in, whatever funk you are in, you have the power to snap yourself out of it. And this week you've got to do it. There's nobody else coming, right? This is this is it, this is your moment. This is where you need to break the chains. You've got to do something completely different. Uh, it takes bravery, it takes courage, it takes guts. And let me tell you about Pisces. A lot of people say like, oh, you know, Pisces is fluffy and it's sweet and it's got no boundaries and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's an aspect of Piscean energy, but what they don't tell you is when Pisces get on and they're ready, trust me, mate, they, they have got a lot more strength than people give them the credit for. So this week you need to find that and you need to change your direction. You need to change your path. This is a time where you have to disrupt the energy. And the only way that you can do that is by doing something that you've never done before. This is a week to be unpredictable in ways that just, yeah, all right? For your communications and conversations, you've got the Ten of Swords. This coupled with the Fool card, um, there is one aspect of this that obviously I have to talk about because it's come up, all right? Um, this week, I touch wood, I truly hope that I'm wrong on this one, um, but I will say this can literally be the energy of a heart attack. It doesn't mean that this is you. I know there's a lot of you out there probably like, <laughs> you know, like having heart failure now because I just said that. This isn't gonna be you. This is the, very likely that you are going to hear of somebody that has had or may possibly have a heart attack. I truly hope that I'm wrong, but with this combination, it's very possible. I, I could break down a million reasons, but I'll try to keep it short. One of the reasons, uh, full card, something sudden, possibly electrical. Uh, communications, uh, you know, something that you're hearing, 
Ten of Swords uh, can sometimes be an end or sometimes be a, a very challenging event. That coupled together, the thing that really comes through, you could be hearing of somebody having a heart attack. I could go into it more, but you know, I don't want to sort of linger on that. Um, just one thing to be aware of. Now, <clears throat> for those of you that work for somebody else, this week it looks like you might be upset in the boss. Uh, you know what? And this is a good thing, right? You you need to upset that apple cart. I'm not saying get yourself fired by telling your boss to, you know, go and hump a camel. And not in those words, but, you, you know. Um, but this week, there's something that you... It's kind of maybe something... Maybe you're asked to do something this week and you're kind of like, no, I'm not doing it. The reason you've asked me to do that is because I always say yes. Well, that and fuck you, go and ask someone else. This week I think you're gonna be really very forthright and this is one of the reasons that I say don't never, you should never underestimate anyone, right? Really, because people will always surprise you, right? That's one thing that I've learned over my life and very often, it's always the people that you don't expect it from, right? They will come at you and they'll just say something and you'll be like, oh, oh blah, 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 blah. you were supposed to say, <laughs> right? Um, for those of you that work for yourselves or entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, business owners, um, this could be you really choosing to go in a very different direction with your business. And one of the things that this is gonna create, now remember we're in a Mercury retrograde, so you don't wanna throw the baby out with the bath water, but maybe wherever it is that you're deciding to go with your business, etc., some of the people that you have known, built time, relationship, correspondence with, won't be going with you. And you need to be brave enough to walk that path. You know, I'm not saying intentionally hurt your business, but what I am saying is something needs to be done differently now. And this is what's required of you. For your, um, those of you that are retired or no longer working, um, this could be a week where you, I mean, quite frankly, this could just be a week where you pull yourself out and just say, you know what, I'm gonna focus on me for a minute. I'm gonna to start to think about what it is that I really want, what it is that I really need. Uh, and this could be you, you know, again, in that regard as well, you know, maybe with the partner, maybe with the family, you could just be putting your foot down and saying, no, that I've had enough. Um, just something to be aware of. For your money and materials, you have the two of cups, right? So the money looks good. Uh, what I will say to you is this, the money or the securing of future monies is gonna come through other people. So if there's somebody that you know that can assist you or point you in the right direction or has the knowledge or the expertise that you need, find a way to defer to them, right? It's really gonna to highlight to you who you can trust and more importantly, who is actually on your level now, you know? Because your level, whatever that might be, is about to come into a really big shift or a really big change. It's very likely one that will happen spontaneously but is still being led consciously by you. So that's something to be, you know, you need to be aware of. When it comes to the home and environment, this is really just about you looking for an easier time of it. Um, for a lot of you as well, this might be a week where people want to invite themselves over and I kind of feel like you're not here for it. So just something for you to be aware of, especially if it's, you know, somebody that you don't want to see or somebody that you haven't seen for a while. So I always say that to people, do not just turn up at my door because I'm telling you, I am, I am that person. I will sit and watch TV while you're stood at the front door. Don't just run up on me because I'm telling you now, I'll leave you outside. Let me know you're coming. I'll let you know if you can come in. I'm so I'm an original hermit, what can I say? Um, but yeah, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, your two of cups is your uh, your stomach, your chest, uh, you know, your, your lungs and like your actual chest, especially for women. Uh, these are all things that you want or need to look at in some regard. Uh, now, before I even pull a love and relationship card, just outside of what's come up for these cards, just consider that a relationship may be strained this week and if you get into an argument, it could turn into something much more severe. I just want you to be aware of that Mercury retrograde. And look at this, for your love and relations, you have the full card. For those of you that are single, this could be <clears throat> a week that really introduces you to someone quite sort of by chance, out of complete sort of blue. 
What I am gonna say to you is, this person represents the path that you're about to step on. Something about them is very, very different to what and who you've known before, and it may be a challenge to you. You know, it might be one of those things where they rub you the wrong way and you can't figure out why, and then you think, ah, oh, because you represent everything that I'm trying to aspire to. Uh, and so, you know, like the, the old aspect of me is kind of like, mm, yeah. <laughs> you know, and the new aspect of you is very drawn to that. Um, just something to be, you know, to, to consider as a possibility. For those of you that are in relationships or in partnerships, um, it could be a great week, it could be a challenging week. There are no in-between here though. I'm sorry to say with these cards, there's no in-betweens. This is either gonna be all in or all out. There's no subtlety with these cards whatsoever. Um, this is gonna be a very black and white week. So I'm, I'm really intrigued to see what comes up in the comments. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week as best as you possibly can. Be ready to switch it up. You know, think on the front foot. You are Pisces. You are the epitome of movement and change. You are uh, mutable changeable, moving, uh, adaptable, water, flowing, moving, uh, intuitive, emotional. You are the epitome of change, right? So tap into that this week and be ready to move with it. The more you do that and you steer into being a Pisces, being more yourself than you've ever been before, darling, the more you are going to succeed, all right? So whatever it is that you're cooking up, go for it. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care. I'll see you soon.